Hello friends, so today we will be seeing battery model of a battery controller in Simulink. So I have already created the circuit diagram of the battery controller and I will just open the file. First we will go to Simulink workbench and a blank model. So this is the workbench of Simulink and I'll just open my file which I created earlier so the extension of this uh, simulink is .slx so this was the model which I had created for this battery controller so this is how it looks like so this shows a clear picture of the components involved in this battery controller model. So this is the scope as we all know to display our final result. I just connected the final outputs and left it. So here you can see there are n various blocks or components used to create this particular model. So this is what we begin with an ideal switch I have already put the values of the constants wherever necessary and this is the battery so I've used 24 volt 50 ampere and 50 percent state of charge and it is a lithium ion battery which I have used and I've connected these RC as well as RL here you can check it's an RC circuit resistance and capacitance this is an pure resistance circuit connected this one is the DC voltage source so I've used 48 volts for this setup so and remaining here another RL circuit for resistance and inductance connected to a battery and these what you are looking at these are the forms and these are the go to functions so and these are all connected to this function the bus selector so i put the values of or consider these constants current voltage and the percentage so this circuit I have built and later I have used an add function to add the go to of the current or the form of the current and finally I have completed this circuit and I have also used a logical operator not can see it here and I connected and later I have used a bus selector as well a mux and and finally these are connected to the my scope to see the nature of graph so I built this circuit so I'll just check if all the connections made by me are complete So here again you can see I have put all the values by default these will these will be zero I have considered certain values similarly over here as well so these two are the constants used and yeah So this is a PI controller parallel. So our main components include here are a battery and an ideal switch command. So this is a discrete block sample time I've considered or I've kept it default. 
so you can change the sample time of it and it appears or uh, uh, it, uh, it shows the result in the graph so all the connections are looking correct and complete so these three connections are SOC, current and voltage are connected to this bus selector over here and it is connected to a battery so battery as I said I've used a 24 volt lithium ion battery having capacity 50 and uh, it is 50% state of charge and the battery response time I considered it as one second you can change it as far as however you want So rest all is correct I guess. So I'll save this file once again. So our file got saved and we can run this program. So here you can see the runtime and the percentage of completion. So we'll wait for it to complete. So let's check the output of this by double clicking on the score. So this is how it looks like uh, graph of the battery controller at 4 with 4 different graphs. So why 4? Because of this one is for IP that is current voltage and current reference and SOC percentage so this is how a typical battery controller looks a model in Simulink looks like thank you